हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रिब्यूनल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ लुक एट द शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्रिब्यूनल्स देन सेंट्रल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्रिब्यूनल्स स्टेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्रिब्यूनल्स जॉइंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्रिब्यूनल्स प्रॉब्लम्स विथ ट्रिब्यूनल्स एंड वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द इंट्रोडक्शन ट्रिब्यूनल्स आर इंस्टीट्यूशंस एस्टैब्लिश्ड फॉर डिस्चार्जिंग जुडिशियल एंड कासी जुडिशियल ड्यूटीज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू एस्टैब्लिश ट्रिब्यूनल वॉज टू डील विद द सिचुएशन दैट रोज ड्यू टू पेंडेंसी ऑफ केसेस एंड अदर रीजन वॉज टू रिड्यूस द केस लोड ऑफ द जुडिशियरी देयर वर नो प्रोविजन्स इन द ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिलेटेड टू ट्रिब्यूनल्स by the 42nd constitutional amendment act 1976 the provision of tribunal was added in the constitution under part 14a now let's discuss about administrative tribunals according to article 323a the parliament is authorized to provide for the establishment of administrative tribunals these tribunals are established for resolution of disputes relating to recruitment and conditions of services of public servants the jurisdiction powers and authority of such tribunals is decided by the parliament for execution of article 323a the parliament passed the administrative tribunal act in 1985 it empowered the central government to establish the central administrative tribunal and state administrative tribunals now let's discuss about central administrative tribunal or cat it was established in 1985 and its principal bench is in delhi the cat is a multi member body consisting of a chairman and members the members are drawn from judicial and administrative streams appointment the chairman and members of cat are appointed by the president The appointments are made by a high-powered selection committee. The committee is chaired by a sitting judge of the Supreme Court who is nominated by the Chief Justice of India. Now if we talk about the tenure, the chairman of CAT holds office for a term of 5 years or until they attain the age of 65 years, whichever is earlier. The members of CAT holds office for a term of 5 years or until they attain the age of 62 years. whichever is earlier they can also resign from their post by writing to the president powers the tribunal is guided by the principles of natural justice it is not bound by the procedures prescribed by the civil procedure code cat is empowered to frame its own rules of procedure and practice and the decision of the tribunal can be challenged in the high court and the supreme court jurisdiction the jurisdiction of the administrative tribunals extends to the all india services the central civil services civil post under the center and civilian employees of the defense services the members of the defense forces officers and servants of the supreme court and the secretarial staff of the parliament are not covered under its jurisdiction now let's discuss about state administrative tribunal or sat The central government has authority to establish the state administrative tribunals or SATs under the Administrative Tribunal Act of 1985. The SATs are established on specific request of the concerned state government. Its original jurisdiction extends to the recruitment and all service matters of the state government employees. The chairman and members of SAT are appointed by the president. after consultation with the governor of the concerned state joint administrative tribunal the administrative tribunal act also include provision for establishment of the joint administrative tribunal or jat it is established for two or more states it exercises all the jurisdiction and powers exercisable by the administrative tribunals for such states The members and chairman of JAT are appointed by the president after consultation with the governor of the concerned states. Now let's discuss about tribunals for other matters. Article 323B deals with tribunal established for other matters. 
it mainly provides for the establishment of tribunals for the adjudication of various disputes some of them are land reforms taxation elections to parliament and state legislator rent and tenancy rights and industrial and labor disputes now let's understand about the issues with the tribunals first is pendency of cases the tribunals were established with the vision to reduce the burden and pendency of cases of the judiciary but the tribunals are facing similar problems there are various reasons which contribute in the issue of case load and pendency such as lack of infrastructure inadequate funds and low staff second is no uniformity there is a problem of non uniformity across tribunals with respect to service conditions tenure of members varying nodal ministries in charge of different tribunals persisting vacancies as per various reports there are many vacancies in our tribunals across the country all this leads through insufficient workforce and impacts the working of the tribunals and make the tribunals redundant contradictory to its purpose after the judgment of supreme court in l chandra kumar case 1997 an appeal against the order of the administrative tribunal can be made in supreme court as well as in the high court thus the purpose with which tribunals were established that is to reduce the workload of the judiciary has been negated lack of independence the executive branch of government deals with all the appointments and other administrative functions this creates a dual problem that is it breaches the concept of separation of power and it also reduces the autonomy of the tribunals now lastly let's discuss about the way forward autonomy must be provided to the tribunals as it is right now highly dependent on the executive it will ensure better and effective working of tribunals appointments must be done for the vacant position which will ensure timely delivery of justice technical and infrastructural development must be ensured for desirable outcomes and some basic uniformity must be implemented in the working of the tribunals it would help in minimizing the discrepancies among various benches of tribunals now it's time for the practice questions first of all note down the prelims question consider the following statements one central administrative tribunals or cat was set up during the prime ministership of lal bahadur shastri two the members of cat are drawn from both judicial and administrative streams which of the statement given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two now moving on to the main question the central administrative tribunal which was established for redressal of grievances and complaints by or against central government employees nowadays is exercising its powers as an independent judicial authority explain So that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching